Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man here with part 6 uh, of AVS video editor tutorial. This is regarding importing your media and how to capture media with AVS video editor. So if you'll notice when you first open the editor, uh, you're under the projects section, which includes all of your current projects that you've done. And the tab next to it, right next to the projects tab, is called the media library. This is what we're going to be focusing on. Um, I already have some media imported. If you'll notice, I'm under the All tab, which is the current project in the folder. Under the All tab, you can sort it out by videos, images, and audio. It's going to sort that out. And if you also notice that these little checkered part, that just means that it's transparent. It's going to come out black when you click on it, but that just means that it's transparent. When you put in the video overlay, the background will not be there. <laughs> So to import media, you can just simply press this import button and you can add whatever media you want. I'm pretty sure this is compatible with all types of stuff. So we imported all those, which is, you can sort these out by all video image and audio. Uh, you can zoom in and out to how you like. You can also put it in list mode, which is pretty cool. But I like to zoom in a little bit more just so I can see what I'm working with. Um, you can sort out your folders. If you notice, there's a current project, a samples, and a background folder. But you can add your own folder, and you can rename it. So let's rename that. And then, of course, you can import your media the way you would like it. And then the sample folder has all these different stuff in it. It has videos, it has images, it has audio. And then the backgrounds folder just has all these different colored stuff. No video, no audio, just all these pictures. So that's it's pretty simple on importing media. This will be a short one, so um, if you'll notice also under here where it says import, you can press capture, and that should pop up here. Hey. All right, so there is a delay with the webcam, but that's to capture your webcam. You can record yourself and automatically upload into here. Um, you can also import media uh, with the voice. Just let me. You have to have a main video though. So voice, you can do it this way. If you've seen in the audio series that I did with this, uh, you saw me do that. So you can import media that way. Importing media! There you go. You can listen to that. Importing media! And then that file will, for some reason, automatically is saved in the background section. I really don't know why, which is such a weird place. And then uh, you can also do a screen capture, which is uh, it'll record your screen and what you're doing to it. And then when you're finished, you can automatically upload it in here. What's cool about this screen capture is uh, you can do special effects in it, like you can draw and stuff like that. So it's really cool what it can do. I'm not going to click on it because I got some videos loading, which you probably saw. So um, you can change the destination where that final product will go and stuff. So it's pretty simple on importing media, not much to it. Again, you can delete the folder, stuff like that. You can also press file and you can import media that way. Capture video from screen, capture video from webcam, import media, export media, and export media library. So again, it's pretty simple, not much to it. If you have any more questions on importing media and destinations and stuff like that, contact me or comment below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe for any more videos coming regarding this series. And there you have it, AVS Video Editor, importing media.